Hi, I'm Gabby McEwen from Remax United Vision. Now you've downloaded my check sheet on how to choose a real estate agent and you'll notice that the big one is ask your family and friends, but don't just ask them who they used, ask them what they thought of the experience and how it went. Work out what your best fit is, who you feel is the right person, but be open to perhaps somebody that you weren't thinking of being the right person. In other words, if you're saying, I want a male to sell my house, you might be pleasantly surprised with the skill set that a more mature woman may have because they understand family and they understand flow and functionality of a home, etc. Don't be closed-minded in terms of just looking at the rock star of the area because the person in the area that sells the most may not have the time or the capacity to give you the service and the expertise that your property deserves. Are they outsourcing how the copy's written? Are they outsourcing the callbacks? Do you know that there's actually some agents that outsource the callbacks to the Philippines and you get a phone call from somebody with an accent and they actually aren't even in the country and they're selling your house and doing the follow-up calls. Not a good thing at all. When I go through an open home, I want the agent to be there number one, and I also expect a call back from the person that has the listing. I wouldn't want that to be delegated to an office junior or a trainee who's on $27,000 a year. It's very important that if you hire a professional, you get the professional service level. So that's an important thing to ask the question. Now, another thing to ask is, what is your list to sell ratio like? You want somebody with a very high list to sell ratio. You want someone with a bulldog tenacity, someone that can convert a client, somebody that doesn't give up and somebody that has fresh ideas and is very strategic in their approach and they're always looking at revisiting the way the property's marketed, repositioning it, and they're not just gonna have one way of doing it and that's the same from start to finish. Have a look at the flexibility with open home times because you don't always wanna have it at 10 o'clock on a Saturday morning. What if somebody is always working at that time but they finish at two? Make sure the agent is flexible enough to fit in um, open home unscheduled open home visits as well. If they absolutely run off their feet, chances are is they're not gonna have time to show people your property. Now another, following along that note as well, open homes on Saturday. A good agent can't really handle more than between maximum six to seven on a Saturday because if they're doing more than that, they're not doing their callbacks and they're not negotiating because even doing seven, the agent's gonna be stretched very, very thin. And if I'm selling my house, I want to feel that I'm the only customer and I wanna feel that I'm important and I'm getting the love and attention that I deserve. And I'm sure that's exactly how you feel as well. Now, the other question you need to ask is, is the agent genuine and friendly and are they credible? Are they somebody that I feel comfortable giving a set of keys to? So these are all the questions you need to ask. Oh, and if you have animals, is the agent a cat person? If you've got a cat, you'll get me on this. Very important that your cat isn't terrified of the agent because this is a cat's house. And if they are pet people, are they going to keep an eye out for the dog? Are they gonna make sure that um, perhaps even if you're on holiday that they can keep an eye on things like that and make sure that everything is as it should be. Would they bring the bins in? Would they check the post? You know, these are nice little handy chores that a good person will do. And if they're an agent, even better. So just some tips from me, Gabby McEwen, on how to choose a real estate agent. But of course, I'm always open for a chat. And if you're looking for an agent outside of my area or perhaps even interstate, I have a great network of amazing agents that I can certainly put you in touch with. So I'd love to chat to you if you have any questions. So shoot me an email.